Alright everyone, here is the 17th part of my 5-in-1 birthday special for Daniel Monahan, Benna7287, Blue Hedgehog Band 17, Jomar 500, and Alex Panther 13, in which I'll be playing a game of Jeopardy 2nd Edition on the plate PC. So far, my birthday so far the birthday bank stands at $197,850. Hi folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just take care of a little business, then we'll get to our game. All right, take a look at the options. Normal game, okay. So how many people? Player one, what's your name? Player one, here's your buzz in key. Thank you. All right. Let's From go. the Sony Picture Studios, this is Jeopardy! Here we go. Here he is, the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to another game of Jeopardy, everybody. The first round categories are as follows. Feeling possessive. Feeling possessive. Around, Around the dungeon. Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt. Christmas, Christmas cuisine. cuisine. Shall we dance? Shall we dance? And the final category is. Oops. Oops. Two O's in quotation marks. Player one, you start us off. Oh, this is a tough board. <sighs> I'm going to Player pick. Player one, you choose. I'm going to pick Christmas cuisine for 100. During the holidays, winter white chocolate is one of the most popular of this chain's 31 flavors. Player one. What is Baskin Robin? No. There we go. Exactly. All right. One hundred dollars. Two hundred. For we Christmas wish you cuisine. A Merry Christmas. Carolers demand a figgy one and won't go until they get some. Player one. What is figgy pudding? Yes, that's the dish. All right. Christmas cuisine for 300. About 1.76 billion of these striped canes are sold in the U.S. every year. Most of them are used for decoration. Player one. What are candy canes? Very good. Pick again. All right. Christmas cuisine for 400. It's an English tradition to adorn this tusked animal's head with sprigs of bay, rosemary, and little flags. Player one. What is a wild boar? Absolutely. Pick again. Christmas cuisine for 500. At Christmas time, you'll have a burning desire to make a bouche de Noël, a cake shaped like this. Player one. What is a yule log? Yes, that's all right. So far, I've swept one category. Hmm. I'm going to pick. Shall we dance for 100? The dance that was performed to music like that. Fifteen hundred dollars doing good so far. Was popularized in this European capital in the 1830s. Okay, here is the clue. Player one. Was Paris. Absolutely. Pick again. Shall we dance for 200? I know what these categories are now. It's the famous forbidden dance, performed to the music heard here. Okay, here is the clue. Player one. Was the Lombada. Well done, yes. Okay, shall we dance for 300? This famous line dance, performed to the music heard here, features a step, 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 kick rhythm. Okay, here is the clue. Player one. Where's the conga? Exactly. All right. Answer. The Daily Double. You make your wager, please. I'm going to wager 2,000. The waltz is done in three-quarter time, and this dance trot is done in four-four time. Player one. What's the fox trot? 
Exactly. Shall we dance to 500? From words meaning song, dance, and skill, kabuki is a theatrical form of dance in this country. Player one. Where's Japan? Exactly. All right. Forty-six hundred dollars. Feeling possessive for one hundred. In a 1981 hit song, Rick Springfield wished that he had Jesse's this. Player one. Was girl. Definitely. Feeling possessive for two hundred. Jason Robards played editor Ben Bradley in All the Presidents. This. Player one. Was all the presidents men? Absolutely. That's it. Pick again. Healing possessive for three hundred. Has played Josh, the assistant to Ronnie Chase, on the TV show Veronica's This. Player one. What is Veronica's closet? Oops. There we go. That's it exactly. All right, fifty-two hundred dollars. Hogarth did a series of artworks about the rakes. This. Hogarth did a series of artwork about the rakes. Anyone? This. This is the correct. Whoa, question. the rakes progress. Okay. Feeling possessive for five hundred. In literature, gamekeeper Oliver Mellors was Lady Chatterley's this. Player two? Who is Lady Chatterley's lover? That's right. Pick again. Let's try Teddy Roosevelt for 100, Alex. In 1898, Roosevelt resigned as Assistant Secretary of the Navy to help organize this cavalry unit. In 1898... Roosevelt resigned anyway. as assistant as secretary of the Navy to help organize. Player two? What are the U.S. 1st Light Horse Division? Oh, regrettably, no. That's not right. Is that it? Anyone? To help this cavalry unit. This is the... What are the Rough Riders? All right. Let's try Around the Dungeon for 100, please, Alex. A prisoner doing a stretch in the dungeon may be stretched out on one of these. Player one. What's the rack? Yes. Around the dungeon for 200. This small device puts a little pressure on your hitchhiking digit. Player one. Thumb screw. Exactly. Around the dungeon for 300. A flogging with this multi corded whip may leave you with a different type of scratch fever. Player two. What is a cat o' nine tails? That's it. Exactly. Let's go with oops for 100, Alex. This form of billiards uses 15 red balls and six colored balls. Player one. What a snooker. Exactly. Oops for 200. Oscar nominated film in which Dustin Hoffman played both Michael Dorsey and Dorothy Michaels. Player one. What is Tootsie? Let's see. There we go. All right. 300 for oops. In 1967, the Rascals were doing this down a crowded avenue, doing anything we'd like to do. Was grooving. One. Was grooving. Absolutely. Pick again. All right. Oops for 400. Meaning the lot, pack, or crowd, it's often paired with kit. Player two? What is caboodle? Definitely. All right. Let's go for Around the Dungeon for 400, Alex. This maiden is a hollow spike-filled statue or coffin in which a victim is enclosed. Player two? What is the Iron Maiden? Absolutely. Pick again. Around the Dungeon for 500, please. From the Latin for little hand, they're handcuffs. Player one. What are manacles? That's it, exactly. All right. Oops, 500. From the Tamil language for curl, it's a cigar with square cut ends. 
In the Tamil language for curl, it's a cigar with square Anyone? cut ends. Here's what we were looking for. What is a Jarut? Okay. Teddy Roosevelt of 200. Roosevelt was famous for saying, speak softly, but carry this. A big stick. Player one. Right you are. Teddy Roosevelt for 300. Roosevelt was only 42 when he succeeded this man as president in 1901. Player one. Who was William McKinley? Right, keep going. You control the board. <sighs> okay. Teddy Roosevelt for 400. Roosevelt, who often participated in this sport, was virtually blinded in his left eye during a match. Player one. Was boxing... Exactly. And the final answer of the round. In 1912, as a candidate of this new party, Roosevelt lost his third bid for president. Player three. What is the Progressive Party? Exactly. That's the end. Well, at least everyone has some money now. Building up a huge lead, player one. Player two, you're. I now am in first place with 7,500. Player two is in second place with 1,500, and player three now have some money. Double Jeopardy time. Now time for Double Jeopardy. That's where this thing can go. And that is if this thing don't go slow with this computer. Here are the categories for the Double Jeopardy They, live, they there. live there. Tool, Tool time. time. 13-letter words. words. TV, TV stars, stars on film. film. None uh, was playwrights. And completing the board, our category is... Inventors. Inventors. I'd like TV stars on film for 200, please, Alex. He was playing Opie on TV when he played Eddie in the 1963 film, The Courtship of Eddie's Father. Hmm. That's a tricky one. Never heard of Anyone? A person as Opie. Take a look. Here's the right. Oh, who is Ron Howard? I'll take They Live There for 200, please, Alex. The City of the Muscovites. Shoot. Player two? What is Moscow? Exactly. They live there. For 400, please, Alex? The city of the Liverpudlians. Liverpudlians. Player three. What is Liverpool? Precisely. Oh, they're they supposed live to there. For 600, please, Alex. The country of the Nipponese. Player Damn. two? What is Japan? Exactly. They live there. For 800, please? The city of the Neapolitans. Player three. What is Natal? No. I'm sorry. Anyone? This. Ah, uh, Naples. Okay. They live there. For 1,000, please. The city of the Glaswegian. What is Glass Bay? No. No. I'm sorry. Anyone? No. I got nothing. Here's what we were looking for. Oh, Glasgow. Give me novelist playwrights for 200, please. Joseph Heller based his play, Clevenger's Trial, on chapter 8 of this, his most famous novel. Joseph Heller, his play, Clevenger's Trial. Player 3. What is good as gold? Oh, regrettably, no. Anyone at all? Player two? What is catch-22? You're correct. Novelist playwrights for 400. Years before the novel Lolita, he published his verse play, Smerti, under a pseudonym in 1923. Player three. Who was Vladimir Nabokov? Exactly. Novelist playwrights. For 600. Dang it. 
Sheffy is this a human bondage author's play about a barber who wins the sweepstakes. Anyone? Player two? Who was Oh Henry? Ooh, sorry. Nope. Anyone? I got no idea. This Somerset playwright. Mom, okay. Novelist playwrights. For eight hundred, please. This British romance novelist was in her twenties when she wrote the nineteen twenty five play Blood Money. Player three. Who is Barbara Cartland? Absolutely. Pick That's again. It. Novelist playwrights. For one thousand. A giant among American women novelists, she wrote the play Stage Door with George S. Kaufman. Anybody? A giant among oh, American women. This is the correct question. Ah, oh, well. I'd like 13 letter words for 200. Astonished as if suddenly smacked by Lightning's partner. Anyone? Hmm. This is the correct question. Let's go for inventors. For 200, Alex. There we he go. He called his steamboat, launched August 17, 1807, the steamboat, not the Claremont. Player one. Who is Robert Fulton? Correct. Pick again. Inventors for 400. At a 1947 meeting of the Optical Society of America, he took two instant photos of himself. Player one. Who's Edwin Land? Exactly. Inventors for 8, 600, excuse me. In 1864, me. this Swede founded the Nitroglycerin Corporation. Player one. Who is Alfred Noble? All right. Inventors for 800. I know what it is. I've had these categories before, so I know what it is. Eureka. I'm wagering all. He invented the compound pulley and proved the law of the lever. Player one. Who is Archimedes? Exactly. 17,400 now. This air brake inventor developed a safe system for transporting natural gas into homes. Player one. Who is George Westinghouse? I think I got it right. Yes. All right. 18,400 now. Two time for 200. When it falls, you're fired. Player one. The axe. Exactly. Okay. 13 little words for 400. It's the adjective for someone who irrationally fears black cats, or a category like 13 letter words. Player one. Superstitious. Who? What is superstitious? I think that's it. Well done, yes. Got it. $19,000, I'll go for 13 letter words. Foul is foul, but pears are fair, and peas should please a follower of this dietary practice. Player two? What is vegetarianism? Exactly. 13 letter words for 800? It's a more general term for an algebraist. That just about sums it up. It's a more general term for an algebraist that just about sums it up. Player three. What is mathematician? That's it. Exactly. Thirteen letter words for 1,000. From lower Latin for killing, it's the kind of shame that's so humiliating you could just die. Player what is mortification? Absolutely. Pick again. $20,000 now. I'll go for a tool time for 400 It's the musical tool heard here. See? Okay, here is the clue. Player one. What's the saw? Definitely. Got it. 
TV stars on film for 400. Laurie Metcalf, who played Jackie on this sitcom, appeared as the landlady in Leaving Las Vegas. Player one. What is Roseanne? Absolutely. Pick again. Got it. TV stars on film for 600. This creator of Jeopardy appeared in the 1954 3D horror film Phantom of the Rue Morgue. Who is Merv? <laughs> well, that's pretty obvious. Who is Merv Griffin? Very good. Pick again. Okay. TV stars on film for 800. This Friends star starred in 1997's Fools Rush In. Player one. Who is Matthew Perry? Gotta spell it right. Exactly. 22,600. Oh, daily double. Make your wager, please. I know what it is, so I'm wagering all. A sharp twist of your muscle that might make a monkey out of you is this tool. Player one. Was a wrench. That's right. Pick again. Four thousand, forty-four thousand four hundred dollars now. She already had her own talk show when she played Kathleen Turner's daughter in Serial Mom. Player one. Who is Ricky Lake? Exactly. Forty-five thousand four hundred dollars now. Things on the up and up are on this tool. Honest. Okay. Anyone? Things are up, things are up and up on this tool. Honest. Okay. Take a look. Here's the right response. What's the level? Okay. Now to finish off the round, to go at something full force is to go at it with this tool and tongs. To go something at full force is to go to at it with Anyone tools and tongs. Okay. Take a look. Here's the right response. What is a hammer? Let's see how all the players are doing. I'm still in first place with four, $45,400, player two is in second place with $2,500, and player three has $900. It's Final Jeopardy. It's that time, folks. Final Jeopardy. We'll take a look at the category, and then we'll give you a couple of seconds to think about your wager. What, it, well, what is the category? Famous women. Oh, I think I know what it is. All right, go ahead. Make your wager. Famous women. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Famous Player women. Two, your wager, please. I think I know what Player it one, is. Please make your wager. Forty-four, six hundred, six fifty, actually. Forty-four six fifty. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. This blind 1904 Radcliffe graduate was a suffragist, political activist, vaudeville performer, and writer. Who is Helen Keller? All right, let's see how everyone did. Player three, your question. You didn't come up with anything? That's incorrect. How much did it cost you? All of it. Your question, player two. Elizabeth Sorry, C. Stanton. That's wrong. That is wrong. How much did it cost you? All of it. Player one. I said Helen Keller. That's right. That's it. And your wager was forty-four thousand six fifty, taking me up to ninety thousand fifty dollars. To our winner, player one. All right. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Come back and see us again real soon. Thank you. Hey, you're very welcome, Hi, Alex. I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just get a few details out of the way before we start our game. Okay, let me add all this up before we close out this segment here. Let me add it up. So far, the birthday bank for Jomar, Ben, Daniel, and Alex Panter stands at $287,900 now. Well, guys, that is going to conclude it for this segment of the 5-in-1 birthday special for... 
Bennett 71287, Daniel Monahan, Joe Mar 500, Blue Hedgehog Man 17, now it's Panther 13. And the next segment is going to come up next. So here we go.